Okay. 3.2 seconds. Yeah! Jacob and Sam here. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to show you a simple idea to do for a science project. The question that we want to answer today, does the size of a parachute affect how quickly a parachute falls? What do you think, Sam? It goes like... That's what a parachute, doesn't it? It goes yeah. like that. Now, if you think you had a big parachute, a big parachute, would that go faster or slower? Faster. You think a big parachute will go faster? Yeah. That's your hypothesis? Well, we'll test Sam's hypothesis. We only need a few simple things for this science project. Definitely need some plastic to make the parachute out of. Okay? And we need to glue it. Yep. Now, Where's the hot you can use it. You can use a plastic garbage bag. We're using a plastic drop sheet, a paint sheet. You also definitely need some string. And we need a ruler. Very good. And we need some plasticine. Yeah. Now, you need a weight to pull your parachute down. But Sam, we're going to use an army man. Hey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you need some scissors. First, we need the glue. Mm, not yet. What what shape parachute do you want, Sam? Circle. We're going to do circle parachutes. The first one, we go text it like this, and then I go around Ooh. in a circle. That's pretty good, isn't it, Sam? Ooh. Huh? And then it joins up. Then it joins up. And so we cut out our circular parachute set. Okay, now we need our string. Now, you don't need to use a hot glue gun. You can just use a bit of sticky tape or tie a knot. But I find when you use a hot glue gun, it can make it go a lot quicker. On the back. So, put a bit of glue there, dab of glue there. And put some glue on. I'm gonna do some glue. Oh, hang on, hang on, we'll just do this bit first. And, and then I'll do some. Dab glue. glue there. Glue everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Glue some glue. Do. You're gonna glue some glue, do you? There. And there's our. <laughs> there's our very first parachute. Set. <laughs> I wanna hold it. Yeah. So we can go test him now. I'm gonna test him. We'll go take him to the balcony. Ah. And we'll drop him off the balcony. And okay. then Okay, it's important. It's important to release it from the same height with no wind. Are you ready, Sam? Yes. Go. Okay. 3.2 seconds. Yeah! Good work, Sam. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> ready, set, go. Yay! Stop. Three, three seconds. Yes. That's very important in science to repeat things. You need to do it over and over and over again to make your results more reliable. And now we need to do different size parachutes. A big one. The 20 centimetre diameter one. Okay, Sam. Let it go. Hey! Okay, three seconds exactly. What? Yes. Okay, this is the 30 centimetre. And... Oh, Sam! <laughs> oh, look! That was, oh, yeah! Okay, now you're ready to prepare your written report. First, you need to have a title. A good title would be Size of Parachutes and Their Rate of Fall. Then you need to say what the problem or question is that you're solving. Does the size of the parachute affect how long it takes to fall? Then a hypothesis, which is your best scientific guess. Sam thought that the larger the parachute, the quicker it would fall. Then a little bit of a project overview, just in a few sentences saying what the project was about. Then you need to discuss the variables. In this case, the independent variable was the size of the parachute. And that's the only variable that you change. You have to know what you're measuring, the dependent variable, which was the time of fall. And then you need to control all the other variables. So the type of material from which the parachute was made was plastic. We kept that the same the whole time. 
the shape of the parachute was circular. The weight of the load was we used the same army man each time. And finally, the height from which it was dropped. That needs to be kept the same as well. Then do a little bit of research and you'll find with parachutes that there's a force upwards called drag and a force downwards called weight. And the larger the drag force, the slower the parachute will go. Then a simple list of materials and then a procedure. Do a step-by-step -step procedure so that people can follow and repeat your experiment if they wanted to. Make sure to include diagrams. Then you can do your experiment and record your results and your observations. Make sure you repeat each experiment so that it's a reliable experiment and then you can get an average of the values. Finally, you get to do a graph of your results which show clearly what you find and in this case it's very clear as the parachute gets bigger, it takes longer to fall. Then a very simple conclusion that just answers the question and finally, a work citation. Just reference any material that you used in your research. Ah, oh, and it's always good to have some photos at the end to prove that you actually did it. So all the best with your experiment. I hope you have as much fun as we did, and I hope you go really well. Thanks, Ace, for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye! Whoa!